Well, hey friends, howdy, howdy. It is raining here and I melt. So yeah, I don't like this. Um, and it's hard to hold an umbrella. I need one of those, you know, it goes on your head and you're like, yeah, I wouldn't wear that, but yeah. <laughs> so um, I have actually been out here for quite some time now. Um, I, we were inside, I was in the side of the coop cleaning up and I heard a ruckus and Miss Anna went underneath and she um, laid an egg. So it took me about a half hour, but I got it on video, so I need to upload it for y'all. But I did catch her laying her egg. How exciting is that? So it's a rainy, icky day here in Central Florida. It is just, ugh, it rained all night and everything. So um, I'm gonna come in here. Now, Miss Rose has been in her um, nesting box several times already. So she is wanting to lay an egg, but she has not laid an egg yet. Um, so let me just turn you around here. They're all waiting on me. They're like, Mama, I know you got food for me. So she has been in here trying. So she's my only one I don't have an egg from today. How exciting is that? So Miss Anna's egg is right here and it's still so, so warm. We actually saw it come out dry and then, or uh, wet and then it dried. It was kind of neat. So I cannot wait to upload that. So these are my Jersey Giant eggs. I know from the colors. And then this is my Rhode Islands, which is Miss Cora and Miss um, <laughs> Miss Cora and Miss Mary. And then this has to be Isabel's egg. So Miss Rose is like, I want to lay an egg, Mama. She's been she's come in like three or four times while I was in here with Miss Anna trying to lay her egg, and she's yet to lay it. So it's quite a process. I mean, it took Anna um, at least a half hour to lay her egg. So, and I knew when she was fixing to, you could tell the way she was standing that she was going to drop it. I know, y'all. So, let me get out of here because they are wanting their goodies. They see them out here. Let me uh, put the eggs over here before I shut there. Look at that. So, we have five eggs. So, if Miss Rose would have laid, I would have had six for you guys. Let me... I know y'all see it. I know you see it, but you got to get back. I know you see it. No, no. All right, all right, all right. Get in there. Get in. Get in. Okay. Uh-oh, that's what I was sticking on. All right. So we have a triple lock system here. So I'm going to go and give them their goodies and then show you guys what Lock Home Dad is doing. So here we go. Now I've uh, that's I've got some uh we made homemade pizzas last night for National Pizza Day. They were so good. So I've got some guts from all that. You don't use your seeds when you're making homemade pizza sauce. I know. I know you guys. Oh my. Let me see how my aunt, oh Anna, you're doing so good, baby. Yes, you are. Look at them, y'all. Him and his food. He, he makes a production of it. He cracks me up. Mr. Mosley, you better get in here. They've got some tomatoes and some basil in there. Oh my goodness. They look like me when I'm eating. I get so excited over my food. So it's such a rainy day today that um, Log Home Dad decided to come out. I showed y'all the other day where our neighbors do not, um, they don't take care of their fence line at all. And they know our garden's there and their garden is kind of on the other side, but they don't take care of it. So it literally grows over into our garden. I mean, I bust my butt during garden season to keep it out of our garden. Um, but then, you know, off season, I don't. And uh, so Log Home Dad has been clearing the line um, with it raining. He's able to come out here with his torch. Hey, Christine Ann. He's able to come out here with his torch and torch the line. And that's the easiest way. Um, this grass, you can't pull it. It just clumps and it's awful. So he's, that's all this here he's clearing. I mean, this whole line, and you can see their side over there, but this whole line, and he has to now move the plastic because he can't burn the plastic and um we have the the uh weed block down and we have holes in it so we can do our garden 
can see the holes as he's pulling it up. Huh? See the snake? Was there a snake? Yep, big black oh my one. gosh. And that's exactly why I didn't want to come out here. I told him, I said, I am not coming out here and put my hands in this. But, I mean, I don't, he's going to have to go on the other side of the fence. I don't see how he's going to be able to clean this side without being on the other side. Because it is just, look at that. And, I mean, that's all, that's not on our side. That's all from their side. So, that's none of ours because we have the weed down. Everything's on their side. And it's just, it's very frustrating because it's a lot of work. A lot of work. And when they first moved in, they were, they, they had this whole thing cleaned out. Everything. I mean, they, they did so much. They kept it all clean. And for probably, what, two or three years now? Nothing. Yeah. So, Log Home Dad is out here doing it now. Yeah. The newness wear off. Yeah, the newness wear off. They've been here now. Six years? Six or seven years. Yeah, but when they first moved in, man, they cleared out everything. They were doing so great. But like the last three years, I mean, it's gone all the way down to our blueberries or um, everything. So we just can't do anything about it because it's not on our side of the fence. So it's extremely frustrating for us. Um, it's really hard on me during gardening season to keep up with this too. Um, because I, well, the way it grows, it's not like I can just pull the weeds. It, this stuff is like, oh my gosh, this stuff is like great. Like it is, it is so strong. I can't even, I, it is so strong. It's ridiculous. And that's even lock home dad burning it. So it's, it's really hard to try to keep it out of here. So he's going to show y'all what he does here. And you got to be careful. You can't just do this, especially in the. Uh, heat of summer and everything, so that's why he's out here today doing it. But we got to get our garden ready. We got to get all these weeds out of here, and so here he goes. So he has his torch hooked up. Don't do this at home. Unless you're Did you get it? No. Oh. So it's quite a process. Because of the rain we had, I don't have to worry about setting the whole place on fire. Exactly, that's why. <laughs> Plus, an ex it's an excuse to play with fire. Oh, I know. <laughs>
walk around. It's so icky today. So I'm gonna walk around, show y'all um, what we got going on. So he is just working so hard, y'all. Like this, this stuff's awful and it just kills me that our neighbors let this happen. You know, they got the whole yard they could let this happen and it has, they know my garden's right there. Hang on. So he's already pulled all this out. Look at that. And of course he's got it. That's a huge pile. You can't even tell here. Um, he's already got the piles over there and then he's got piles going on in here. So we got to get all of our weeds out. So this is, uh, this is what it all looked like. And that's all from their side. That's all from our side because we have uh, the weed block in. And then he'll just pull all this out. This will all come out. So. Look here though, y'all. Like, uh, this is all strawberries. And they are incredible. Look at this. We've got so many strawberries. I'm so excited. I think I'm going to have him put um, some cloth down here. Look at this. How exciting is that? So let me show you strawberry, what happens. So they have runners. This is a runner. And on this runner, each one of these, so that's a plant, that's a plant, there's a plant. So each runner has like a ton of plants on it. So literally right here, I probably have at least a thousand plants, if not more. That's not parsley. So I have a ton of strawberries in here. I really need to come out and um, I put some in here yesterday. But these little beds have been the best thing ever. So we've got us some strawberries, guys. Welcome down. I'll probably be out for a few hours. Quite a bit of work. exactly why I didn't want to come in here because um, I knew but I there's no way I could do this work um, there's no way I couldn't even begin to do this and it's real hard on me during gardening season though to come out and try to keep up with these weeds um, I think last year he ended up going on the other side of the fence and having to get some of the weeds because they were so bad on our side And this is when all the fun stuff starts, all the gardening. We'll start our seeds this week. And um, it's just fun. It's fun and frustrating, especially if you get hit with pickle worms and yeah. weeds. And well, last year, so I had corn here last year. I had, I had probably a good, what, 20 stalks of corn. And um, all of them had, you know, corn growing on them. And they were doing so good. And we come out here one morning, log home dad did, and he's like, you're going to have to go out and look at your garden. So we're assuming a raccoon came and just completely destroyed and shredded every stalk of corn I had. It was so frustrating. You had a hankering for corn. I guess so. <laughs> Give you the countryside. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Green acres is the life for me. Farm living. <laughs> oh. 
goodness. All right, y'all. Well, I'm gonna get back inside. I got a bunch of stuff to get on and leave Log Home Dad out here working the earth and fire. No wind. So just earth and fire today. Yeah. <laughs> so he says he's out here smoking weed. So we'll let him smoke his weed. Oh my goodness. Is that funny or what? Yep, that's my scissors. Where were those? In your little... Uh, oh, so I didn't leave them out here. Oh, I thought I left them out here. So he's, what he's trying to do is get rid of some of the excess before he goes to um, burn it. And boy, is it just a mess. We actually put a... Um, Log Home Dad had to end up putting this hardware cloth, hardware wire. No, this is like a... Hog wire? That's more like a rabbit. Or, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, that's what I put up over there. Yeah, so he, he put this up. This, this I did when I fenced the garden. Yep, he put this up because... Well, you didn't do this at first. Mm -hmm. I thought you didn't because I thought the dog was trying to come through and you finally no, went and put it, it up. Was, was it over there? there? Okay, yeah. So, um for whatever reason our neighbor took the fence down from here all the way back because there's our wetlands are back there and left it for like two years well finally log home dad put just a little fence up there because their dogs were coming over here and pooping in my blueberries mama was not happy it made me so angry so he finally of which we need to go get some yeah we do I, I mentioned that yesterday so he ended up putting um the fence up just to keep them out of the garden part because they were coming in our yard they come through our gate but um they were coming in through that and it was just so frustrating to come out here and have dog poop and my my blueberries i was not happy um but yeah so we ended up putting that fence just temporarily up there oh i know it makes me so mad Hey, Amy, you're here live. I'm so excited. Yeah, so this is kind of our day today. It's just a, I think we're going to make some steaks. I laid some steaks out. We have some steaks in the freezer and um, I'm going to go in. I'm going to make some, I think I'm going to make some salsa and we have, did you eat all the leftover pizza? Pretty much. Mm, so we won't have leftover pizza because I'll come down and finish it. So I'll have to make some. Breakfast. This was for breakfast, so I'll have to make some, um, and you see what happens is these clumps, they've grown under our fence here, and you can't just pull them out. They literally have to be dug out. It is, like, ridiculous, and so I, I can't do that. I, I can't I can even barely get a, do it. I know. I, can, I can't even get a shovel under it, so those things are ridiculous, but if they're smaller and you pull them, it's okay, but I can't pull them from the other side. I've tried sticking my hand through and pulling them when I see them pop up, but I can't get it. And literally, last year, you went on the other side and dug them all the way down. So he had the whole fence line dug out. And now it's just back because if it's not, you know, if you don't do it as it's happening. Look at that. Those things are ridiculous. So it has to be taken care of as it happens. The root balls are just humongous. Goodness. Like everything, we get busy and just can't I know. keep up with it. I know. So usually, like I said, if I see small ones, I'll stick my hand through the fence and I'll pull them out. Um, but when they get that big, I can't. It's hard even sticking my hand through with the smaller ones and getting them out. You know, and it's not that, so that's not, um, you know technically on our side but when it grows tall like this it's just a mess and then it it's like that it it just keeps growing and growing i mean that's probably good good eight feet tall and now this is what we're dealing with now so he'll probably be out here for a few hours working on this do you need to take your watch off So he's getting the, the part that's like 
kind of grown in the middle of the fence on our side because he, otherwise he can't do anything about it. You see, I can't even begin to do that. It's way too much for me. Too much for me. It would grow right through it. We've done pine straw. Um, actually, I have pine straw along one edge, and I actually have two bunches that have grown over on our side that Log Home Dad has to dig out. Um, usually, like I said, I pull them out when they're small, but it's happened over non-gardening season. Um, but it just comes right through the pine straw. They don't care. Oh my goodness, they'll, it's they'll grow into pine straw. Yeah, it's starting to really come down. It feels. It's crazy. It's like this huge mist of rain, and it's just a coming too, y'all. Look at that. Woo! All right. Well, I'm gonna get inside because um, I've got gooseies, and I'm melting. She's melting. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, you have a super blessed day, and we'll see you tomorrow at the. I don't even want to call it Chicken Inn. This is like the Homestead Inn. There you go. <laughs> All right, y'all. Love you guys. Take care. Bye bye.